information. Moving the military, obey the law of defense. This is a CD. Okay, I'm Connie Coker. And I'm Cargill, and this is the CDL uh, Ramble. And so everything you ever want to know about CDL, we're going to explain in the next oh, four or five hours. So buckle in, this is going to be fun. So what you got there, Miss Coker? Why would anyone want to be a truck driver? Let me explain to you, a truck driving career is an incredible career opportunity. Right now in the state of Kansas, there's over 10,000 jobs available for anyone who has a CDL. And, and the starting pay is around $50,000 a year, which is not bad considering the starting pay for a school teacher is about $35,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And the average is about $70,000 a year. Think of what you could do with all that money. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so if I decide that I want a CDL, what's next? Okay, well, there's, there's some steps that you have to work through. There's some hoops you have to jump through. And the, one of them is to get your uh, commercial learner's permit, but you don't start there. You have to take a skills test and you have to have some college hours and in order to, to get your CDL nowadays. So you would have to enroll in a college course. And, and in, in our particular case, Barton County is who we're working through. And then you go take a skills test. If you pass that skills test, then you have to do an inspection test Mm -hmm. And then you have to do a uh, uh, the the test for uh, to get your CPL uh, sir, commercial learner's permit. Okay. Okay. Do I have to have a CDL just to drive a pickup? No. Oh, no, okay. you can drive a pickup without a CDL. The reason you need a CDL is anytime it's over twenty six thousand pounds, the gross vehicle weight, and you're going to see that a lot. Gross vehicle weight is GVWR. If you're pulling a trailer and the gross vehicle weight is over 26,000 pounds, and you have a 10,000 pound trailer, you're gonna to have to have a CDL. And if you're gonna, or if you're gonna drive a passenger fan, you know, those big passenger vans that have like 15 passengers, mm -hmm. in order to do uh, 16 passengers, including the driver, you have to have a CDL. And you have to have a CDL to haul anything hazardous. Mm. Okay. So I have to have other class certifications. Yeah, yeah. There's three, A, class A, class B, and class C. Class A is, is just a truck trailer combination. And that's what most people are looking for is the class A. The class B would be a, 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 a big box truck or a big straight truck or a, a large bus. And class C is a small vehicle, but it's a passenger van or a hazardous materials uh, vehicle. So in order to so in order to get your CDL, you get a CDL, but then you get a class for the CDL. So you either get a class A, class B, or class C. Now most of our folks here are working for class A, and so they're looking for just a standard type of, of uh, CDL license. Mm -hmm. So what they're going to do is take the test, and if they get a, a learner's permit, a commercial learner's permit, then they'll have some experience driving the truck. They'll also have an, an inspection of the truck. And then they'll take the, the uh, class A test, which will include, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to have to have air brakes mm -hmm. and you're going to have to have a, a trailer and combination, gonna, and, yeah. and combination mm -hmm. which would be the trailer. And then the general. And then the general. General. Is, yeah, and yeah. the general. Okay. Yeah. So you have to jump to a few hoops. Yeah. And, and depending on what you drive the day of the test, you may, your license may exclude like a, a, a manual transmission because you, your truck didn't have a manual transmission in it. Okay. And so you may not be able to drive a manual transmission without going back with a manual transmission. So they know you how to, how to use one. Uh, you know, there's other very, uh, other uh, variances to the certification like school bus and tanker and hazardous mm -hmm. and right. all kinds of things. So mm -hmm. that's, that's an experience. That's an experience thing. The, the more experienced you become, the more of these different certifications you'll be looking mm -hmm. at. So at this point, we're done with our first Coker Cargill rambling. And so the next one, we'll be looking at uh, the next part of the, the next section of the, of the manual. So if, stay tuned and we'll see you the next time.